This is an EEG of an awake 36-year-old adult following a motor vehicle accident. The standout pattern here is the high amplitude burst of diffuse intermittent theta. This pattern is considered to be abnormal, and here's why. Although intermixed diffuse intermittent theta on an EEG can be seen normally in young adults, this patient is not a young adult, and the concern here is the location, which is frontal or frontocentral, with a voltage exceeding 100 microvolts. Adding to the concern is the presence of this pattern in more than 10% of the EEG recording time, which was seen throughout this patient's 72-hour EEG. The rule of thumb in regards to intermixed diffuse intermittent theta is that the slower the frequency, while still being in the theta range, the higher the amplitude and the longer the duration of these waves the more likely it is that the pattern could be abnormal. This could suggest a variety of conditions, including, but not limited to, generalized slowing due to diffuse brain dysfunction, focal disturbances indicating localized brain dysfunction, or specific neurological conditions. That's it folks, see you Thursday for another EEG video. This video is brought to you by Corticare. They've teamed up with us to provide free education for techs like you and me.